Why are your hearing aids whistling or squealing? It's called feedback. Let's talk about feedback in this video. Hi, my name is Emily. I am your hard of hearing best friend and I am so excited to have you at Definite Hearing today. I have been wearing hearing aids since I was four months old and I love sharing more about my hard of hearing life on this channel. If you're excited for this video, hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I have so many viewers who don't subscribe and one way you can support me is to subscribe. So will you please subscribe today? Thank you for making my day. All right, let's talk about hearing aid feedback. So hearing aid feedback is when your hearing aids whistle or squeal. It can be annoying and embarrassing. In this video, I'm going to talk about feedback, why it happens, and how it happens. In addition to common causes of feedback. So let's get into it. Why does feedback happen? The bottom line is feedback happens from a hearing aid because it is a seal issue. So how does feedback happen? Well, feedback happens when there is the amplified sound going out and coming back into the microphone. The way our hearing aids work is they receive sound in the receiver. It sends the sound to the microphone, which amplifies it, and through the direction of our hearing aid, puts it into our ear to send the sound message to the brain. Now, when feedback happens, there is a seal problem, as I mentioned earlier. When there is a seal problem, this means the sound is escaping the typical pathway and re-entering the receiver and the microphone. So when you have amplified sound entering a microphone, it causes feedback, that annoying whistling or squealing sound that you hear. This is the same process that happens when a speaker on stage with their microphone gets too close to the amplifying speakers. So they speak through the microphone, the speakers shoot the sound out to the crowd. But when that microphone gets too close to the speakers, the amplified sound is going back in and it's an endless cycle that creates feedback. As a hearing aid wearer, you have feedback when there's a seal issue. So where are seal issues? Great question. It could be a crack in your hearing aid too. It could be a poor ear mold fit. It could be earwax in your ear. It could be just moving, whether that's your jaw moving and causing an opening through your ear canal so that amplified sound escapes and goes back into your hearing aid microphone. Or it could be a hug or even cupping your hands over your ears. All of those things is a seal issue and that can cause feedback. Now I wanna add what is normal? What feedback should you expect? If you have occasional feedback, such as when you give someone a hug, or sometimes when you wear tight headpieces like hats, this is normal. However, feedback that is excessive when you open your jaw, when you breathe, when you move, that is excessive feedback. You should always let your audiologist know when you are experiencing feedback, ask them if it's normal, and if there's anything they can do to reduce the feedback. Hearing aids are incredible devices. And in fact, some hearing aids have feedback technology in which it can smartly or like wisely reduce feedback. Phonak and Starkey hearing aids are known for their feedback reduction technology. So if you really struggle with feedback, have your audiologist check out your hearing aid to see if they can fix any noticeable obvious seal issues. And if not, you may want to consider a new type of hearing aid with smart feedback reducing technology. So you're probably wondering like, how do these hearing aids reduce the feedback? Well, that could be a whole other video, but I'm gonna save you time by just telling you really quick how this works. The hearing aids recognize the frequency at which the feedback is more present and they reduce those frequencies when it notices they're hitting. So it's able to proactively reduce feedback. Interesting, huh? So what do you think? Do you feel like you can confidently answer the question now of why is my hearing aid whistling or squealing? I hope you can. 
I hope this video has helped you today. If this video has helped you, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great hearing aid and hearing loss related tips. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. Bye.